welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a general weekly reading for the star sign Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Please keep in mind these readings are very, very general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If it's not your story, please don't try to make it fit. Also keep in mind that everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from the law of cause and effect, okay? If you would like to get a personal reading with me, the information will be in the description box below. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Alright, here we go. What's going on for Leo, please? This upcoming week. What's going on for Leo? Show me Leo, please. Leo. Show me Leo, please. Okay, eight of swords in the reverse. You're getting out of your head about something. You're not you're no longer worrying about it anymore. You're no longer imprisoned by your own thoughts. You're not ruminating anymore. That's good. You're not thinking about something. What's blocking you is a tower, though, and a Knight of Wands reverse. You could be doing another fire sign or a Scorpio. Um, trying to avoid a disaster here. You're not thinking, or maybe you're not seeing something coming, but there's a tower that's here due to somebody's actions. It could be theirs or yours, okay? In your future, you have the full card reverse, so not taking a new leap of faith, not having hope, maybe being a little careless or reckless here, or somebody is. Um, there could be a Queen of Cups in your life, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, who maybe you've been reckless with before, or maybe that you will be, but you're working on it. You're working things out with this person. You don't want to have a new, faith, new, new leap of faith without this person. This is someone you want to return back to your past here, but be careful of someone not being sincere with you in their communication with you about not moving forward. Someone's not showing you the real, the truth, or you're not. Someone's at a crossroads here. You're holding back right now because you're trying to release some form of codependency or toxicity here after a very painful ending that's taken place between you and somebody. Now, it doesn't mean the relationship actually ended. It just means that there was an ending of some kind in the connection. I do feel like this is love-related. You do have new offers or business prospects coming in as well that you are no longer anxious about. You also may be tempted or have new love coming in, but I feel like you might be blocking that out. Because it brings too much chaos in your life dealing with an empress here. Okay. Dealing with, you got a woman here who elevates herself from a queen of cups to the empress who is the embodiment of all four queens. So she's not going to deal with any chaos here. So she's blocking that out. She's not dealing with any player games or you're not dealing with any player games here. It could be a same sex relationship. It doesn't have to be. It could even be sisters or cousins um, that you're dealing with. It could be family related. Somebody here is not dealing with somebody who is being very egotistical anymore. And I feel like that's you or, or it could be them. Someone's not indulging in this anymore. They're not, they want to be seen here. They want to have a victory here. And the only way they can have victory here is being away from this connection. Or this is you. You need to stand in your power. There could be a marriage here going on between two people here. we got the empress and now the emperor. You need to stand in your power and they need to stand in their power. Okay, let's see. What's this emperor's intentions? What's this emperor's intentions? Oh, let's see. They said this one. What's their intentions? Um, they're keeping something hidden from you, or you're keeping something hidden from them. What is it? You need to, okay, you need to look deeper into something that's hidden. Also, it could be a financial situation. What what else? Um, you're being divinely guided by spirit to look deeper into a situation. What are we going to find? There's something about a home life. There's, there's somebody who wants to destroy your home life. They're being very sneaky about it. They want to destroy it. They literally want to destroy your home life here, so please be careful with that. Let's see who you could be dealing with. Who are my Leos dealing with this upcoming like, week? We know what a Cancer, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. And what guidance do you have, please, for my Leos? What guidance do you have for my Leos? Your dreams need a practical plan. Full Moon and Taurus. Could be done with Taurus. You also have Don't Let Your Past Hold You Back. And then you also have A Personal Issue Reaches Resolution. Awesome. Awesome. Don't let your past interfere with your future. Don't let your past, don't let somebody mess up your life. Okay? They're coming back to mess with your home life. Okay? Alrighty. Well, this is what I have for you, Leos. I hope this helps. If you want to have a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. Please like this video, comment if it resonates, comment if it doesn't. Remember, the roles can obviously be reversed. And please subscribe to my channel and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. And as always, Please take care of yourself. I love you guys. Until next time. Bye.